So last time, we spoke about translating your verbal phrases into a mathematical expression. So we shall continue with that. And this time, we shall write verbal sentences into math sentence. What again is a math sentence? Well, well, a math sentence is a statement that can be either true or false. That is our uh, definition of a math sentence. Example 1.6, translating verbal sentences to math sentences. Okay, so what do we have here? We will just write this in math sentence. We shall not solve it. 10% of sales is 5,450 pesos. So what is the major math operation that is concerned here? Okay, so that is the key. What do you call that? Is that an article or a preposition? So that is a key word. Okay, whatever you call it. That suggests multiplication. Okay, so 0.10 times x. Okay, so you can come up with your own variable for the sales. 0.10 times x is equal to 5,450. So when you will use a percent, okay, so a, a, a quantity which, which is given as percent, if you were to use that in, a, in an equation, if you were to apply a math operation on that, you have to write it as a decimal number. Gross sales less taxes is 7,560 pesos. Gross sales less taxes. Okay, so the keyword here is less. So that is suggesting to you the operation of subtraction. So you will produce your own variables for gross sales. Let that be x. Taxes is y. So x minus y is equal to that. That would be the math sentence. But we are not concerned in solving it. Letter C. My father's monthly salary is twice what my mother makes in a month. Their combined salary is 27,000 pesos. Let us write this in math sentence. Okay. Your father's monthly sal salary is twice what your mother makes in a month. So what operation is involved there? So it is the operation of multiplication. Their combined salary, obviously, it's addition. So this is how you put it. So if Y is your mother's salary in a month, twice Y is your father's salary. So this is how you write the math sentence for this part. Their combined salary, okay? The, the salary of the father plus the salary of the mother is equal to 2,700 pesos. And by the way, if you are using my book... This equation does not match what is written in the book. I apologize for that. Uh, I apologize. I declared it as an erratum in my book. It should be x plus y, not x plus 2y. Uh, let, us go back. let us go back to that. Let us go back to this. So this is a math sentence or a math, uh, a math equation, but you have a particular name to call this. You call this a system of equations. So a system is not just one equation. And to indicate that it is a system, the equations in that system, you will use the brace. Okay, so that is how, that is how you tell, that is how you, you write the sentence to indicate that the set of equations should be taken as one using the symbol of a brace. So you call this a system of two linear equations in two unknowns to be specific. Okay, let's move forward. Letter D, the average of two quizzes is 85. The first quiz is 10 points higher than the second. Okay, look at this. The average of two quizzes is 85. So by now, you should be familiar with how averages are computed. So that is just basically, since we have two quizzes, that is just basically x plus y over 2 is equal to 85. That is how you compute for the average of two numbers. Now, the first quiz is 10 points higher than the second. Look at that. 10 points higher. That is the key phrase. So, that is, or that involves the, uh, the operation of additions. So, this is how you put it, the sentence in, the verbal sentence here. 
The first quiz is 10 points higher than the second. Okay, so if this were the second, and if this were the first quiz, the first quiz is equal to y, which is lower than x. But if you want to make it equal to x, you must add 10 to, to y. Again, taken together, you must put or use the brace. Uh, that is to suggest that this is a system. This is just one set of equations. And you call this the system of linear equations into unknowns. 